box now. Bo Bichette. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. It was a walk in his last trip. Mm, got him out on his front foot. It's 0-2. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get it. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Chris Bryant, he'll lead things off as they look to perhaps build on an already sizable lead. Ball one to start the at-bat. And here's a fastball inside as the count moves to 2 0 now. Well, that's another great hitting count here on 2 0. It's no wonder why they're up seven. Bryant looking at a 3 and 1 count. Little hesitation right there by the batter. There's great execution by the pitcher down and away. But that finds its way through for a base hit. So the leadoff man is aboard to start out the inning. Mike Trout will get the call here as he'll hit for the. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. Edwin Diaz enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Counts even to Trout one and one. That pitch looked like it could have been a little high, but he's been calling that pitch all night. Kind of rough for a pinch hitter, but I'm sure his teammates let him know that's where the zone has been. A runner at first with no outs here. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. High in the air out to center field. Mantle is under it, and there's one gone. So coming to the plate, now Craig Biggio. First Get pitch of the at bat Craig. on its way. Biggio. Counts 1 0. Ready with the 1 0. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's 1 and 1. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. The 1 2. Popped up. Thames is under it. Two gone. Now to the plate, Larry Walker. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Out in front of it, strike one. Two out with the man at first. Line drive to left. And that'll get down for a base hit. Into the box, Rogers Hornsby. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Two and oh now. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. Now both runners on the move. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. And Mantle makes the catch. The inning is over. Billy Wagner gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Nelson Cruz is up off the bench as he'll be asked to get something started in the home half of the seventh. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Strike taken as that one catches the outer part of the play. The 1-1 one -one is taken. And that misses two and two. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Fouled away. He's set. Here's the three and two. High and deep to center field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. 
Stepping up to the plate, Bryce Harper. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Lined to short, but gobbled up there, and there are two away. Into the box, Ryan Sandberg. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. And that's waved at and missed for strike one. I mean, that's a classic case of coming off your backside right there. He lost his entire back leg, was out in front, couldn't keep his hands back. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Springer on the run. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the... Trevor Hoffman comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Buster Posey is at the plate, and he checks his swing for ball one. Weak chopper to the left side. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. At the plate, George Springer. And he'll be trying to replicate that home run swing that he took back in inning number six. No balls in one strike. A one pitch on its way. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two call. As we near the end of this one, I think it's safe to say that the story of the game has undoubtedly been the long ball. Guys, what do you think about what we've witnessed? Well, as a former offensive player, I absolutely love it. Kudos to both lineups for doing absolute damage today. One of the most fun watches of the year. You know, D-Row, what this shows me is this new age way of guys going up there, and they're swinging hard. You need to make good pitches, quality pitches. And if you don't have command of the fastball, you're in for a long day. And we saw that here this afternoon, a ball flying out at near record pace. Drilled on the ground is short. Bichette picks it up cleanly. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Settling in now, Eric Thames. He'll get things started now in the bottom. The later innings, down by a bungle. It's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. One and one to count. Thames behind one and two. I try and tell people all the time, you're facing 90 to 92, 94. You can still see seams. It starts getting above 94. It starts to blur itself a little bit. You start pitching where this guy's at, you're seeing nothing. You're seeing fate. Close there, but he doesn't get the call with the breaking ball. Hey, curveball that kind of backed up on him right there. Might have popped out of his hand just a little bit earlier than he intended. And he lays off the curveball. Strike three called, and that's going to be out number one. Mickey Mantle is at the plate as he watches ball one. One out, nobody on. Line toward the gap in left center. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. Now batting, third baseman, Garrett. And now he'll bluff a move back to second base just to make sure the runner wasn't getting any ideas out there. Mariano Rivera, a six foot two inch right hander, jogs in to take over on the mound. Standing in now, Gary Sheffield, as he'll take strike one on the inside corner. He was retired after popping out in his last at-bat. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. That's why you call a challenge fastball right there, boys. I don't know if he was necessarily trying to miss up in the zone like he did, but he got away with it right there and put the fastball by him. Comes back with the cut fastball for strike three called, and there are two down. Ready for another chance. Larry Walker, runner in scoring position with Sugan. And this will be fouled away. 0-1, here it comes. And it's fouled away. Weak roller right side. And he can't pick it up. That ought to go down as an infield single. He'll get it into second, and he's safe. And that'll bring up Buster Posey as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. He's two for three and looking for more here towards second. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the... 
And Young is aboard. That's a base hit. So that puts the leadoff man aboard to get the inning underway. Digging in next will be Chris Bryant. As he puts it on the ground to third. He's right there. And indeed, no look at second. He'll go straight to first and take the shoe out. Nolan Jones will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Nolan Jones. Here's a fastball that he shoots on into left center, and that'll fall for a base hit. Young ignores his coach. He's chugging for home. He comes across to score, and they're pulling away. They lead by seven. To the plate now, Craig Biggio. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. And looking to improve on a one-for-five effort so far. Runners on his way to third. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball, one and one. Nope. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Two one pitches, a fastball swung on and missed two and two. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Full count now. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. Nope. And that ball misses four. ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. Striding in once again, Larry Walker. He homered back in the third inning in this one. Hit back up the middle to second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the end. Jake McGee, the 6-4 southpaw, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Here's the first pitch to him. Bo Bichette is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. This is in the air out to right field. Walker is there, and that is a big first out here to start inning number nine. Babe Ruth will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Lazy fly ball out to center field. Springer coming on. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Bryce Harper. He lined out in his last trip. So looking for better fortunes here. And look out as that fastball ran in and got him. Ouch, Brandt. Digging high and deep to center field. And just like the ex-girlfriend who ain't coming back, that one is gone. At the plate Number now, three. Eric Thames. As, oh, goodness. Not ready for that slider at all. Let's strike one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Too high. One and two. Great take right there, but the last thing you want to do is be called out on strikes to end the game. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Fouled off. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. And he fouls this one off. The 2 2 one more time. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here, searching for that put away stuff. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Yeah, and that's what we've come to expect in these Diamond Dynasty matchups. Managers pulling the strings, putting their guys in the best possible situations to produce, and produce they did here. That was about as entertaining a game as it gets. 12 to 7, the final score in this ball game. Virginia scored 12 times in round two a win tonight. James Paxton pitches well enough to get the W, so that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show. The winning pitcher is James Paxton. The loss goes to Corey Kluber. Time of the ball game. Four hours and 18 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.